Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sylvia Gani. If you don't know, now you know. Subscribe to my channel before you go. I don't know what that little rhyme was, but anyways, let's move on. Today's video is going to be the Coachella vlog. Now, you're probably wondering, Sylvia, why are you still in your room? This is supposed to be the Coachella vlog. What the heck are you doing? Show me the Coachella footage. And the reason I'm here filming this in my room two days after Coachella is because I found it really difficult to vlog how I usually vlog at Coachella just because 90% of the time there is music playing. I was also 90% of the time hanging out with people that I barely know. So I found it a little bit awkward for me to always have my camera out and and I don't know, I was just kind of trying to enjoy the experience while I was there. So I noticed as I was going through my footage, I did get some pretty good footage, but I also didn't explain everything and the experience as well as I wanted to. And I really wanted to do a good job of explaining everything that I did and all the highlights and you know, the fun things that I did that I didn't necessarily get on the vlog. So I'm gonna kind of let the vlog footage play, but I'm also gonna pop myself in there from the future to explain better kind of how the day went or the different things that happened that I may not have been able to vlog just because I really want you guys to know about the full experience and everything that happened even though I was kind of shit at vlogging the whole weekend I'm very sorry about that you guys you know I'm no Casey Neistat you gotta bear with me okay and just accept this little story time slash vlog kind of video we can make a new kind of genre story time slash vlog slash Sylvia's nitty at genre <laughs> All right. so let's get on with the video I did vlog a little bit of us getting there so I'll start with that footage roll it I haven't done a vlog in a while, but this weekend is extra special because we are going to Coachella with Too Faced and Key Australia. Charlie's here with me, so we're gonna have such a good weekend and I wanted to bring you guys along. I hope you liked the little montage in the beginning. That was part of our trip here when we first got to the LAX airport. They sent a driver for us, which is really cool because I was like, totally like the movies. It's never happened for me before. So cool. We ordered some room service last night. We basically just came here and then passed out and now we're gonna go on a bus and we're going to Palm Springs because we're in LA right now. So it's about like two and a half hours away. So it's gonna be a pretty long bus ride It's really early in the morning right now. It's like 8 o'clock, but we got a lot of sleep So I'm totally fine We didn't even get to go in the pool because we passed out last night and ended up not waking up until this morning I wanted to go so bad anyways, I'm running late. I think so I'm gonna run down to the lobby and meet everybody else didn't get that they actually surprised us instead of the three hour drive on the bus that we were expecting we're taking a private jet which is going to be so freaking cool i've never been on a private jet this is going to be insane you're my music but you tear me to pieces so where does it come from the scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb oh where does it come from Can you believe it? They surprised us with a private jet ride from LA to Palm Springs, which would have been a three hour drive, but instead it only took us like 20 minutes to get there on private jet. I felt so cool. I literally felt like a celebrity at this point. If you were following my social media, I I was bragging about it. Okay, it was on my Insta stories, my Snap stories, my Twitter. I was like, I'm about to be on a private jet. It was so cool. And I can't believe they did that for us. Honestly, I felt like a princess. It was the dopest experience ever. I highly recommend it. If you're ever able to get on a private jet, just do it. Just don't say no. Would you ever say no in that scenario? Anyways, that was a stupid question. Bye, private jet. Hello, Palm Springs. Next stop, Coachella
a giant shrub wall full of sunglasses. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I dare someone to jump in. So what do we have here? So this side has the handle for this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then this side has whatever you want on it. You can do your Instagram handle, your name, your initials, nickname. I get my own bandana. This is so cool. This place is so amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so lucky to be here. I want to jump on one of these immediately. Babe, I'll go on one. You go on one. Take a pic. Couple goals. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to get some optimal tanning done over here. And a little bar area. I'm done. It's like mini golfing? What? What? Sylvia Gani, that's me. This is the most fabulous fanny pack I've ever seen. So glamorous. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I wanted to get these so bad and they sold out so quick. I'm gonna try them all on for you guys. Ooh, what do we have in here? Some goodies. Oh my goodness, my favorite mascara. You guys already know. A nice water bottle. I'm gonna have to. Oh, it has my name on it. Everything has my name on it. That's so cool. Glam glow. I love glam glow. Some more sunglasses. These are so cool. Very fancy. Hey guys, so we just arrived at Coachella day one. Um, the sun is just setting. We got here a little bit late because our bus had like broke it down in the middle of the road, which wasn't that bad. It was kind of funny actually. Another bus came to pick us up right away, but now we're here and everyone's really, really excited. And the sunset is so, so beautiful. I see a light in your eyes. I follow you so damn foolishly. You'd be the sweetest. So after we arrived at the house and pretty much explored everything, we got a few drinks in us and really just chilled at the house. We didn't end up going to Coachella until pretty late in the day because I feel like we were all just so excited about the house and we're catching up with each other and getting to know each other that a lot of us honestly didn't get to Coachella until like seven-ish, which is pretty late. Charlie and I only ended up seeing Travis Scott, but he was so amazing. It was such a good performance. And then it took us like three hours to get home worst experience ever trying to leave Coachella day one just because we had no idea where to go or what we were doing so we ended up walking through the festival for like three hours until we figured it out like my feet were blistering let me tell you wear comfortable shoes if you're ever going to a festival I clearly was not informed so it's Coachella day number two yesterday was a lot of fun we had the absolute best time at the festival but it was really really hard getting home it took us three hours to get home you guys and about an hour and a half of walking so <laughs> it was a nightmare and because it was just so so busy and the ubers were all messed up but anyways that aside the trip is amazing so far today's like a pool party day and later there's a lot of great artists that are performing at Coachella so right now we're kind of just getting ready taking some pictures and enjoying the beautiful sunny day let's get started let's go see how the setup looks like outside for today I'm sure it's beautiful Let's go. These are the new Desi Sahara sunglasses, I believe they are. I'll put the link in the description. I love them. I feel so cool and so hipster. I'm getting my hair braided. This is so cool. We have Kat doing it. Say hello to Hi. Her. Your hair looks amazing too. She's got Thank the you. cute fun buns. Oh my goodness. That cute. looks amazing. She's putting the final touches. How cool does this look? We got the little chain links. So creative. It matches my earrings. I'm all about that gold bling bling today. Thank, Thank you, Kat. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. My favorite artists were also playing night two, so this is probably why this is the best day of the entire weekend for me. Charlie and I got to see Future, we got to see Gucci Mane, we got to see Nav, and then the weekend ended up surprising everybody at Nav's show, so that was so exciting and so unexpected. So it's the last day of Coachella. The past two days have been amazing. I'm starting to like kind of lose my voice. It's getting deeper and deeper, which is not very attractive. Just ignore that. But today, Key and Too Faced have such a fun day planned for us. It's like a spa day slash pool day. We were out in the pool for most of the morning, 
and now there's like massage tables set out there which is so cool I'll also give you guys a quick overview of my outfit today it's just like a cute fringe jacket the bralette underneath and some white shorts and I'll probably wear sandals that I got from Lulu they're so cute I've been waiting all day to wear this it matches my vest could be tacky, but could also be genius, so I'm gonna do it. Our room is an absolute disaster right now. Like, just take a look. This is Charlie's side. This is my side. It's really embarrassing, don't judge us. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're getting ready in a rush. I also wanna show you guys the new Too Faced setting spray. It's so refreshing. It smells like coconut. I really love their regular primer, like the cream primer. So when they come out with like a setting spray, I've been talking about it on my social media and like Snapchatting it and showing you guys because it's so good. It smells delicious and it's like perfect for the summer because it's so refreshing. And also they gave us like these sunglasses Key gave us. They're new sunglasses that just launched. So these are the black fade glasses. Desi and Key Australia kind of teamed up and created these glasses. Also the ones I'm wearing on my head. Like they're the dopest glasses of all time. I'm gonna try them on for you guys so you can see. I'm not joking, they're so cool. I literally feel like 10 times cooler when I'm wearing these glasses. This collaboration is to die. But yeah, we're having a blast, so let's go out and see the massage tables. Maybe I'll get a little massage, let's go. So these are the massage tables. You literally can just lay and get massage. How awesome is that? We got some girls over here. It's the last day of Coachella and we are riding in style. We got our small car. Now by this point, I considered myself a Coachella veteran, so the whole day I was like planning the night ahead, knew the shows I wanted to go to, knew what time I had to be ready by. I had the bartender know my drink order by this point, because they had a bartender there like all weekend, and a chef, which was amazing. Did I tell you guys that? So dope. This is the night we got to see Kendrick Lamar, DJ Khaled, Lil Uzi Vert. It was just amazing. After all the shows, we got home really late and hit the hay. We retired. So the weekend is over. Coachella was amazing. We had to pack up all our stuff. It took me so long. Oh my God, I have way too much stuff. So here's our luggage. Me and Charlie are ready to go. Did you have fun? Of course. I just had to come outside one last time and say goodbye to the amazing pool. Hello. Goodbye pool. I didn't even get a chance to mini putt. What the heck? It's been such an amazing weekend. A huge thank you to Key and Too Faced for bringing us out here this weekend and showed us the most amazing freaking time ever. Holy. Anyways, so we're about to load the bus and head on home. It's gonna be a long trip. Our plane doesn't leave until like 10 p.m. tonight, so we have all day in LA to figure out what we're doing. I'll keep you guys updated. Talk soon. So I thought I would talk to you guys soon, but this is when I started to feel really, really sick and not feel good on the way home, and I just couldn't pick up the vlog camera and end the vlog. So here we are, two days later, after spending the last 48 hours on my couch with like snot dripping, it was not a good sight, okay? I was just really sick. But finally, I feel a little bit better to be able to talk to you guys and end the story the story time slash vlog. So I hope this extra footage of me kind of telling you guys how things went gave you guys a better idea of the whole experience. Also, all of the amazing products that they introduced to us over the weekend, like this new setting spray from Too Faced, you guys. I love it, I love it, it smells so good. Also all of the key sunglasses that I was wearing throughout the vlog, all of those products will be linked in the description so you guys can check them out as well because I was blown away. Everything was so amazing. It was just the experience of a lifetime and I definitely don't take it for granted. The entire time I was just like thinking about how blessed I am and how amazing it is to have your guys' support that really brought me here and like gave me this amazing experience. So a huge thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting your girl and you know, going through these experiences with me. Now before we get too sappy with it, I'm going to end the video. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so we can go through more experiences like this in the future together together forever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you watch my last video if you missed it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace.